Hi everyone and welcome to the Lemon Lazarus. Today I thought I'd do a little homeschool plan with me. So if you watched my last video, you know we're doing uh, an Alice in Wonderland unit study. So with the unit study, you get your two pre-filled plans, but you also get two blank ones. So what I thought I'd do was show you um, the additional activities and games and stuff that I've put aside to go with our unit study. Okay, so our first activity is to do with telling time. So there are time cards in the unit study of... Um, quarter, half, five minute intervals um, and there are obviously multiple ways you can play this. One of the ways I'm going to do it is a sensory box. So I've got some blue and some red rice, so Alice and Queen of Heart rice and um, I pop the actual cards in there and then put the matching uh, word time cards or digital time cards underneath the rice so she can dig them out which is always fun and match them and then once she's done that what I thought we could do is use the rice for weighing so I have um, our balance scale and um, I've got these little weights from le learning resources so it's up to 50 um, and I thought that would be a really fun activity as well so not only are we doing time but we're also getting some measurement in there too so for that one I've just put telling time sensory box weighing rice so the next one is measuring Alice's tears so as you know in the story um, she cries a lot <laughs> so I've got our litre measuring set out um, and I thought we could measure some tears in this this is a really fun set as well because it also helps with um, shape too so we've got a cube, a rectangular prism, a cylinder um, a triangular prism, two or two different types uh, one's 500 mils and one's 250 and the same with the other One's one litre and one's 500 mils. Um, well, yeah, so I thought we could do some measuring of the tiers. And we can obviously use some food colouring like they have to make it really fun. So our next activity is pop to the shops. And you'll know um, if you have seen my unit study video that we are going to have an Alice in Wonderland tea party. So I have put the pop to the shops orchard toys game on my shelf and this money activity set. Um, so I thought we could have some practice with money. So there's all different food in here. This is what it looks like. So there's a baker's, a mini supermarket. Um, so all different stores that you would visit. And then obviously you have to pay for the items. So it's a game that you have to go around. One shop is yours. And then we've got the learning resources, um, money activity set. And I like this because there are puzzle pieces, as you can see, that you have to match up with the correct coins. Then there are, there are also, it's notes in there as well, not just coins. And there are also tickets that you can uh, list uh, items for so I thought we could use a mixture of these items we can play the game obviously but we can then use some of the items to make our own prices and she can also use some play food from her store to um, make her own prices as well and then obviously we can actually go shopping for our tea party and she can be in charge of the money and paying for the items at the, at the real store Okay, and then the next activity is an addition and subtraction with the sticker stamps. So as you can see, I got these Alice in Wonderland sticker stamps. They are really cool. So I'm going to use them for decoration uh, for her different activities that she's doing. So invitation making and everything else. But I also uh, thought we could use them for some mats as well. So if you can see on the actual coins, sorry, coins, <laughs> on the actual stamps, there are prices, well, um, numbers. So we've got 30, 20, 15... Um, there's a hundred one over there. So I thought we could use those as well in some fun addition and subtraction games too. Make them multi-purpose, but she can also use them for decoration as well. Okay, now the next activity is spelling with Cheshire Cat Sand. So here's the Cheshire Cat Sand. <laughs> um, so we love kinetic sand. It's so useful for so many different things. And one of the things it's great for is stamping out your spelling words in. So if you've got the um, wooden letters or any kind of letters really would work. Um, and then you can stamp out your spelling words in there. And it's Cheshire Cat Spelling. Okay, now the next activity is act out the story. Um, now I've gone around our house and raided all our Alice in Wonderland <laughs> figures <laughs> that I could find. So we've got the mini animator set. Um, I'm not sure if they still make this. I think you can get used though. We've had this for years. I think it was 2015 when we got this. Um, so we've got Alice, the Queen, Cheshire Cat. Um, we have got her croquet set, which is really cute. Painting the roses red. And... Um, Mr. White Rabbit himself. This is actually from the Tinkerbell um, set, but I thought, well, you know, it'd work well with this as well. So she can act out the story with uh, a story with those. And then I also found uh, some of our Zoom Zooms. So we've got Al two Alice's, one small, one bigger. And then we've got White Rabbit, and I've got two Cheshire's. Um, so I thought they would be fun. And then we've got this little Cheshire Cat um, 
pencil case which we've had for ages. It's funny actually, the very first video that was ever on my channel was an Alice in Wonderland themed Easter basket and he was in there. <laughs> so if you want to go back and watch my first ever video on YouTube you'll see it was an Alice in Wonderland themed Easter basket and it could also, if you are doing the unit study, it might be a good idea to think about doing an Alice in Wonderland Easter basket. I don't know, just a suggestion. Cute little story, when I got my daughter him she was she just turned well she she was three she turned three and then obviously it was easter um and she always thought that it was not cheshire cat treasure cat <laughs> so she used to call, always call him a little treasure cat i thought it was the cutest thing ever okay the next activity we can make some characters so i've got these little character cards and these craft sticks which are always fun okay the next activity on here is the bookworm game um so obviously with this being a book unit study. <laughs> I thought this would be a great, be a great game to go along with it. And then I'm also going to pair it with our Alice in Wonderland uh, pop-up book. Again, you'll have seen this in my Alice in Wonderland Easter basket first ever video on my channel. If you watched it, it's, hold, it's held up really well. Considering she was three when we got it, it has held up really well. There are a couple of little bits where um, things are not quite as they were, but obviously that's understandable after all these years, even if you've got older kids, but I think for a three-year-old she did amazingly well not to trash it. Um, so yeah, this is such a cool book. I absolutely love the Robert Sabuda pop-up books. Okay, again, given that it's a story-based unit study, I decided to bring out our brain box once upon a time cards. These are always fun. If you've never seen these before, it comes with an egg timer, a dice, and then each card has a picture on the front. So you'll look at the picture for the amount of the timer. And then you'll roll your dice and um, you will pick a question, depending on obviously what you've rolled, to answer. So if you've got a two, how many people can you see? And then you'd have to remember what you saw when you were looking at the card. Okay, the next uh, activity is the tea party set. And this is again where our little characters can come in, so I haven't moved them. So she's had this little set for ages as well. This little tea set, so she can lay her cloth out, get her little accessories out, and have a little tea party with her Zoom Zooms and her Alice figures, and if she wants to invite any of the other little princesses to come along, she can do. So the next activity I've put on there is Sleeping Queens, obviously, Queen of Hearts. You've got to have a queen game, so I picked Sleeping Queens, uh, and this is really fun as well. And the cards are really fun too. So you've got your regular cards, and then you've got your sleeping cards, and at the bottom, I think, are some of the queens. Um, it's really hard to do this one-handed. Sunflower Queen, Starfish Queen, Rainbow Queen, <laughs> Moon Queen. It's just such a fun game. The next activity I've put is Cat Crimes. Obviously, Cheshire Cat, we have to have a cat game. So I picked Cat Crimes. This is an amazing game. We love it. And I'm so excited that Dog Crimes is out. I don't know if it's been out for a while and I've just not seen it before. Or I have no idea if it's just a new game, new release. But I saw it on the Purple Alphabets channel. And when I saw it, I was jumping for joy. So I knew my daughter would love it. And I definitely Dog Crimes is going in her Easter basket. <laughs> so um, yeah, Cat Crimes is such a fun one. Again, sticking with the queens, I had to use our Brain Box Kings and Queens activity set as well. And then the only thing I bought new for the unit study is I got this Alice in Wonderland activity and sticker book. Um, so there are lots of fun things in here to do. Colouring pages, lovely stickers. And I also got this extra pack of stickers as well. I thought they'd be useful for decorating, you know, whether she wants the front and cut back cover or um, any of the projects that she does. Okay, and then the final two activities will probably span, I don't think you can see that actually, I colour coded it, I'm sad aren't I? <laughs> Maths, language, arts, games, and then this is geography, I don't even think you can see it. But anyway, um, I asked my daughter uh, what game she wanted to play with Alice, and one of the things she said was she wanted to travel around with Alice to different uh, places. Um, she meant fantasy places, so Wonderland places, which we will still do. But it also gave me the idea of, hmm, I can get some more geography into it. So I decided to do um, around the UK. <laughs> so England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So I've got the sticker atlas of Britain and Northern Ireland. This is great. It splits it up into regions as well, which is always really helpful. It's got a ton of um, information, not too in-depth, um, you know, just what you need to get all those ideas uh, across, which I really appreciate. And then you can see where it's black, uh, black and white. That's where you will stick the stickers on. But what I absolutely love about these Osborne books is, let me get to the right page. You'll see here it has internet links, quick links. 
So I went to do the quick links as I often do and I pulled up all the ones that would be of interest to us. So there are tons of really fun ones. Some of them are videos, some of them are games, some of them are just things to read. Um, so I put all the links here and then I've gone regional as well. So we've got London, we've got the North West, we have got Wales, different regions in the UK, the North East, the West Country, the heart of England, the South Coast, East Anglia, and there's so many different things to look at. Some of it, some of them are videos, some of them are, as I said, some information to read, some little games on some of them, um, looking at pictures of different places. So I thought that would be so fun. And then um, one of the links led to a couple of printables. I don't know why it says teens, because I think this is more than fine to do with a second grader, you're just matching stuff. Um, and I think that's the, what's that one, Maybe just the, ex oh this is the answer page <laughs> and that's the exercises and then this is just a, another check your understanding so once you've watched a video so basically you're watching a video about um, the UK and then you do a sheet I thought that would be really fun along with all these different activities and then I thought we would focus on one place um, within the United Kingdom to go into a bit more depth and I bought this gorgeous book and um, the buildings that made London you'll have seen it in my second uh, second grade curriculum video um, and it's absolutely stunning so it's got all the different tourist attractions in uh, London and it's absolutely beautiful I love it it also pulls out as well at certain pages, flips out. It's just gorgeous. So I thought we would go in more into depth with London and we'll either do a lap book or I'll make some um, fact sheets for her to do. It's just beautiful. See how I mean, I mean about how it flips out. And then I have this London's children's map. Um, and we can do some more geography with this, so I'll make some uh, question sheets uh, to go along with this. You know, find certain things on there, and it also has some stickers as well. This bag, uh, I've got all our craft and um, craft activities that we can do for our different projects and our um, STEM. So I'll just show you what's inside. This is going to be our Mad Hatter hat. So you cut the box open as per the instructions in the unit study, and obviously we'll decorate it and we'll turn it the other way so you won't see colours. Um, but it's just housing some of the things. So we have got these little crowns. I thought she might want to decorate her hat with those. I've got all kinds of different tissue paper for animal skin. And then we've got this tissue paper pack um, with kind of different colours in. I put these chicks in in case she wants to make it spring themed because obviously we are approaching spring. I've got all these little different cellophane um, sheets, some crepe paper and some more tissue paper and then a bunch of different ribbons and I'm going to steal some of this one I think to do with the binding on her front and back cover. We also have our two paper plates which again are needed for the hat. I've got some stickers, again some of them are quite springish. I just made that word up. <laughs> we have got some wool. Funny story, this looked like that to my puppy Quinn. I found it. <laughs> But it'll still work just fine, um, in case she wants to do any wool decoration on her uh, bunny, so whiskers, or um, on her hat. I've had this little magic set for ages, just uh, st stuffed in a drawer, um, and I thought I'd bring it out on you know, one of the days and say, present it. This little activity, because obviously Alice in Wonderland is a magical story, so I thought a little magic set would be cute. I think this was a pound from the pound store. Uh, three rolls of craft tape. I tell you what, this is such a bargain. I love this tape. Um, even for your own planner and things as an adult, it's great. <laughs> so I've got a few rolls in case she wants to decorate anything with tape. Again, this is all stuff we already have. I haven't gone out and bought stuff. I've just raided our house. <laughs> you're amazed what you find when you actually look. Um, the things you've forgotten that you had. Pipe cleaners. I've got this bag in case she wants to do anything with it for our rabbit hole. Um, and then again, some more stickers. Obviously, they've all been opened. They've just been shoved, you know, in the drawers and stuff when she's finished with them. So I'm just digging everything out, which I think she might possibly want. I've got some more cool crepe tissue paper, so some heart and um, some coloured. It's like a felt that we can do our bunny with. And she's also a Tommy. She wants to invent a new character into Alice in Wonderland. And if you've watched any of my old videos, you might guess what it was. 
If not, it's a pug, because <laughs> my daughter is obsessed with pugs. She cannot wait till the day she can have a pug. Um, so yeah, so we're going to make a, pun a bunny, but we're also making a pug. I'm 100% sure of it. So we've got some measuring cups. I meant to show you these earlier when we were doing talking about the rice. Um, they're really cool because they just pop out. <laughs> and yes, I do have two Donalds. They sent me a set with... Um, I got this set... Uh, years ago and when I actually purchased it when I opened it up there was two Donald's but because the store was in a different country I couldn't exactly fly over just to swap it so I just kept them it's the third that's missing um which is sad well there we go <laughs> one of those things uh, so yeah so she can use those to scoop out her rice as well just to make it a bit more fun if she wants to or she can just use the regular scoop twine in case I want to bind with twine um again some more stem stuff we're getting to the bottom now tape for hat and other things um cotton wool buds again for doing the um roman numerals just a few tools for fun in the center of bin and then two more things i've got this magnetic wand um which is red and then the magnetic balls so for different characters so alice the white rabbit um the queen of hearts is in there cheshire cat and then i thought he, orange could be mad hatter and i thought we could make a maze as well um because one of the activities on the UK study is you get to see one of the, the giant mazes in the UK. So I thought once she's watched that, it might inspire her to make her own. So I put the magnetic wands and the balls in. And then finally, just some decorations for the party. So again, just rooting out what you already have. So I've got two buntings. This one is uh, floral with butterflies. And then this one is just primary colours. And then she can pick which bunting she wants. I will get some, um, I'll try and get some Alice themed paper plates and stuff before our party. Um... But obviously, she can. I can just get white ones, and she can decorate them if I can't find them or they're not within budget. So don't think that you have to go and buy loads of things. As I said, um, try and see what you've got at home, and then make them work. So she could quite happily decorate these in Alice theme for the party. But I will see if there's any um, within budget. That's everything. So I didn't put these all these things into the unit study because I didn't want it to be one of those things where you download it and then there's tons of things you have to buy in order to do the unit study. I wanted it to be self-contained on its own. But I just thought I'd make this, this extra video in case you were wanting additional things that you could add in. Um, as I said, we already had most of these things so I didn't have to buy anything. But I appreciate that not everyone will so that's why I wanted to make sure that the unit study w could go by itself. Um, run alone if you like. But if you do want to do any of these additional activities, I hope this video was helpful for you. And I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye for now.